So I had plans with a girl friend of mine to go and do some thrift store shopping. But she works two jobs. So she's like, I'm really, really tired. I was like, no, 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 me head. Just please just rest. Don't even go there, you know. And then um, I got a letter from the office that was like, you need to come pick up your package right now or we're going to send it back to whatever, whatever. And I'm like, huh? I'm like a big package, big package. So then when I go pick up the package, which is huge and heavy, dude. Oh my freaking gosh. This is when I wish I had my husband with me, but <laughs> excuse me. So then, um, So I go over to, to the office and it's actually all this medical stuff that I had ordered for free with my insurance. I even got a lumbar something back brace and I'm praying it's in there because I have bad back. So I got the, the brace for the back. I got like stuff for, I got a cream that's diabetic cream because my, my husband's hands get very, very dry around this season so I figured let me get him some some how do you say diabetic cream to see if the diabetic cream will help and soothe his hands you know so I got like a whole bunch of things from Gateway which is who I'm with you know what I mean and this was all offered to me for free because I qualified qualified so I'm really excited to see and I also got some medicinal stuff such as, you know, Airborne. Because Airborne is amazing. I used to give it to my kids when they used to go to school. And Airborne is just amazing. Um, what else did I get? I got like a whole bunch of stuff. I guess I could do like a medical haul. That's what I'll do later on. So my girl is like, oh, I'm so tired. I was like, girl, don't, I mean, don't even worry about it. I was like, I understand. I used to work two jobs back in the day, three jobs. So I called my husband up. I was like, babe, my girl's too tired. He's like, okay. He's like, well, I'm supposed, I was like, well, dude, I'll just come and pick you up right now. Plus it's like a rainy, dreary kind of day. So I was like, dude, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pick you up. We'll have a day together. So, hey, it all worked out pretty well. It's 65 degrees in Durham. It's lovely. Um, do you still sleep with the air conditioning on, Latina J? Yes. The hot flashes. Yo. And Paul's like, I'm having a hot flash. And so he turns the air down because I'm like, look, I'm having a hot flash. Like I need, you know, so he turns the air down and everything, you know, and I'm just like leaning back, trying to get cool. <laughs> and then he wants to lay up on me and give me a kiss and everything. I'm like, baby, no, I don't want that. I'm too hot. He doesn't understand. I'm like, babe. Just think if you're like in the Sahara Desert, way out there in the desert, and it's hot, super hot in the desert. Would you want me laying on top of you? He's like, probably not. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's not that I'm trying to be a bitch, but it's not the time right now. I'm hot as like, I could fry eggs on my fucking chest, you know? Like, it's that damn hot. So then he backed off. He's like, okay, okay, okay. I love him, I love him, I love him. He's a trip. He's sometimes like a puppy. He wants to be on me all the time. <laughs> and I love it. Anyways, about the Northgate Mall. I'm sad to let you know about the Northgate Mall. It's a mall that's been there for I don't know how long. It's an indoor mall and... Sears is gone, Macy's were there, Macy's is gone. And there was something that I used to take my 
my children to, which was an indoor merry-go-round. It was the most beautiful merry-go-round. You guys could check it out online if you wanted to, to see it. When we went to the store to pick up the sneakers for the boys, um, the boys, I call the boys my men, you know, Daniel and, and, and Paul. I'm like, where is the merry-go-round? And my son's like, oh, mom, they took it out. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, mom, they took out the merry-go-round. I was like, oh, no. I was like, I promised my little girl, Alexita, I was going to take her there. And they took the merry-go-round. I'm so heartbroken over that. Because that's that was like a nice thing to do. Like, if it's raining like this or whatever, pack the kid in the car. Take him out to the merry-go-round. Let him go two times. It's gone. It's gone. And then there's a soccer field by my house. That's gone. I'm like, what are they going to leave for the kids to do? Like, Toys R Us is gone. Then I heard that they're going to open up another Toys R Us in Houston. But it's not going to be as big. It's not going to be like the Toys R Us from before. I'm like, what are they leaving for the children? Like, when I was a little girl, the biggest thing for me was like, I want to go to Toys R Us. It'd be my birthday. We get to go to Toys R Us. But now, unfortunately, they're gone. Merry-go-round is gone. And then, to put a cherry on the top, I found out that the Northgate Mall is going to be gone. They're going to make the Northgate Mall into all residential. I was like, wow, not even the mall. But the, I was like, what? It's heartbreaking. I'm like, what is it? Why, why don't we cater to the children anymore? What about the children? <laughs> and then I saw somewhere on Facebook, somebody left their children, the twins in the car and they died. I'm like, what in the hell, dude? How do you live your kids in the car, your children, and, and they die and really what is this world coming to to where we can't even protect our own children like what the heck my heart kills for the children because the children are so beautiful and we used to have a bounce thing in there that's gone so now the only thing that you have are the little quarter quarter you know machine you put a quarter in and they go or maybe it's a dollar who knows the merry-go-round was like $2 a ticket. It was nothing. So it does bother me. Because, you know, even though I don't have little kids anymore, I know children, I know my friends that have little kids and things that, you know, that's gone. Very sad. I went to sleep with a hole in my heart. I was like, they took the merry-go-round. They're going to take the Northgate Mall down, like... Now it's all going to be residential. Okay, what the hell? Seems like the industry. There goes a train. The industry only wants to house its slaves. Let's not make them have fun or anything. Let's just make our slaves be industrialized slaves. Living here, living there. Paying to pay their rent. Can't even take them to a merry-go-round. What the?